whenever you gather this many really good people in one spot, mm -hmm. sparks are going to fly. You're going to see back and forth. You're going to see counter adaptations. And it's playing out exactly as we could have hoped. Uh, I don't see any sign of that slowing down. Yeah, honestly, like Varun, even playing uh, Wii Fit that he likes to play, with with Master Mario being on screen and always constantly going to be on the approach, this set should still be explosive. It should. It should. Uh, I'm actually I'm looking forward to commentating this because uh, we have two PR players in Washington. We have Ludo, a very strong Mario player, and Cygnus, a very strong Wii Fit player. So this is this is kind of nostalgic for me. Oh, very nice, very nice. And of course, there's the the double up air into forward air from SMR trying to end that stock with the dunk, but unfortunately does not find it. I think that's in, in part due to the deep breathing that we saw mm -hmm. um, the buff comes on because it does give we fit a little bit more defense. It does, yeah. It, it cuts the knockback and also amps the damage up substantially. It's a crazy powerful tool. And uh, any we fit that's going to make waves is going to be doing so with that move. Oh, okay, that, I almost feel like that is such a Cygnus thing for me to see. I'll, I'll stop referencing other people because I know Varun is probably the best we fit out there. But uh, that calling the spot dodge out with an F smash. Deep breathing wasn't up. If it was, then that probably would have just taken Mario's dodge. Oh, sure. Mario would have flown straight across the screen. Nothing really mess Mario would have been able to do. But getting caught by the up air, actually taking a trade, but it goes in for Varun's favor. Nice, okay, so interesting enough, um, small detail like playing against we Fit that a lot of players don't know is usually like in Smash Brothers, it's a great tool to cross up your opponent and be behind them uh, because not a lot of players have, or characters have tools to, that are as good behind them as they are in front of them. However, we Fit is the opposite. Mm -hmm. Really good point. So strong. Yep. That is that easily her best out of shield option there. Uh, and it's super strong, it'll kill too. So, Master Mario is gonna have to be careful if he tries to drift around with some of those nares on shield that Mario is so prone to doing. Yeah, but I, like, honestly, I'm expecting to see uh, maybe just some well-spaced backers. What was the angle on that ball? What? I, I love, <laughs> this is 100% my favorite thing about Wii Fit players is all of their ball tricks. They all have different ones and you see just the full range of angles whenever you commentate a high-level Wii Fit set. Master Mario, though, uh, to his credit, he looked ready for that. He stuffed that ball out with a fireball right before it made contact. Yeah, I think that probably was him like being ready for the, the ball to be coming his way. He also likes to cover his approaches uh, with fireball. So even if he's like I'm recovering, just having that projectile approaching your opponent is enough to add pressure. Mm -hmm. um, that maybe they'll want to shield or jump out of the way. Not really focus too much on where Mario is, but there's a run up, pivot, up smash. Classic Mario tool to have. Yeah, and he pulled that off with just enough time, too. I was actually surprised he was able to get over there and execute that just from a whip down tilt. Yeah, but evening up the stocks, and now here we go. Here's some damage, there's some Mario combos. Varun answering back. Ooh, making use of the platform with a drop down up air. I, I gotta say, I, I haven't watched Master Mario play a whole lot, uh, but I really appreciate his just his, his weight. You know, like Varun will be jumping around and like throwing volleyballs or soccer balls and then trying to air dodge through the ledge and stuff. And there have been a few instances where Master Mario just sits there and doesn't do anything at all. And. <laughs> That's like, on one hand, that's very unnervy if you're fighting against it, because it's like, what is this person thinking? What are they going to do? Uh, on the other hand, it gives him a chance to react to these panicked defensive options. The key is to focus on your balance. Although it's not going to end up mattering a whole lot there, because Varun does close that out by just building on a little too much percent. Master Mario can't climb out of that hill and uh, meets a Wii Fit F tilt. Very strong. Yeah, move. I mean, that's kind of the downside of playing that more neutral... Uh, style against uh, against your opponent, you kind of leave yourself open. If they read you and they say, okay, well, he's not going to push a button here. He's not going to bring up shield or air dodge. And it leaves you being open and getting hit. And Varun had that read and he got the F tilt with deep breathing, which is mm. super powerful. It's true. And if, if you're just doing that kind of uh, 
you know, wait and respond kind of game, that's not actively applying pressure. That's just retaliating. So there are fewer opportunities for you to close a percent gap, like the one that Master Mario had there. We're gonna have to see if anything changes here in game number two. It was it was a pretty close game, uh, but we are on the same stage. So if the stage didn't change, you gotta expect the players to change something about the way they're gonna handle this. Yeah, of course, there's that projectile battle coming in. A very minor part of this matchup, but still super important as uh, it really gives stage control. Mm -hmm. And if both these players are nullifying their projectiles, then it allows Master Mario to be able to approach. And uh, we fit, although, you know, often seen as kind of a zoner archetype, one of her projectiles gets sent back if you hit it with something else, or if it trades with a fireball or something like that. So it's not it's not just a free, like, who get zoned by Wii Fit kind of deal. Master Mario has tools to fight back, and that's not even taking into account Kate. But uh, I, I think what Varun's getting the most mileage from is not necessarily connecting with the soccer ball, but using the soccer ball to control space, and then hitting Master Mario where he tries to escape from it. Very... Uh... Which is a, a great feature of any player who has these items or these tools. Okay, there's the, the ladder into a B. Gonna be able to make it back. But Varun, of course, being so adept at being uh, using using the ball, using deep breathing. Haven't really even seen Ooh. him use the, the neutral beat just yet. Barely dodging that F smash there. We fit low profiling that fireball from Mario. Uh, holding on. There, for dear life, Master Mario has to find a way to get this stock, and if he isn't able to do it soon, Deep Breathing is now online, and he is super at risk of dying. I mean, and it, yep. of course it gives Varun just that much more defense, right? So now back throughout the ledge may not kill, but it doesn't matter, all that rage, gone. 104% still on his first stock, Varun looking very strong here in game two, with a commanding lead. We fit because of deep breathing, because of the tool she has to just play keep away if she wants, she can snowball leads. And that's what we're seeing here. Master Mario wasn't able to get the stock, he got lapped in the second stock, and now this is a really difficult hill to climb. Uh, honestly, he just needs to see like some Mario combos happen and really be able to capitalize off stage with uh, a hard punch like forward air. Yeah, and but Varun is not giving up that opportunity. Definitely not. That's something that we haven't seen a whole lot of here in these two games. We haven't seen the crazy, like, 0 to 60, well, not, not 0 to 60, but, you know, like, long strings that people are accustomed to seeing from Mario. We've seen a lot of, uh, you know, wait. Oh! Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't know you that know. I've ever seen that. Oh, Master Mario is like, you're taking some deep breathing over there. It looks like you're a little thirsty, too. Here's some oh. water. Get him with the water break. Important, everyone. <laughs> that, that was super goofy. Uh, I mean, obviously, like, we've seen flood gimps. I, I don't think I've ever seen, like, someone <laughs> flooded into the blast zone like that. That was, that was yeah. a good wake-up call and, honestly, the reversal that Master Mario needed. Because now he has momentum. Yeah, He's true. shown Varun Rune is that on the run. Yeah. And of course, now Varun able to land his feet. We're starting to see him, you know, use the same game plan as we did earlier in here in game two. Oh, deep breathing. Yeah, it's these offstage plays that are making Varun just so difficult to deal with. Like, yes, Master Mario was able to capitalize with the flood. And I think as long as Varun doesn't try and do deep breathing that far away from the stage and that high up, then he should be safe. Mm -hmm. um, but still, Master Mario really has no answer for when Varun is below the stage, uh, charging yeah. deep breathing, and then recovering the stage almost for free. I, I think that has been making a lot of the difference here. And we fit players are often very comfortable off stage because their character has a lot of tools for fighting from the ledge. And it doesn't look like Master Mario has been quite able to figure out how to contest that yet. He's got one more game to try and do it here. If he can pull it off, we'll see more of this set. Otherwise, it might be uh, Varun's path into semis. And that's right. He's, of course, going to be making his way 
into top eight, where he will then be in the money. Okay, but sharking underneath this platform, allowing Master Mario to get a good amount of percent on Varun. Varun retreating to the platform where we know the, the Wii Fits like to excel. Mm -hmm. Wow, big right. damage. 56% from like three interactions there. This is the damage potential of this character. I mean, that's kind of right. what happens when you have like, you're able to trap your, uh, you're able to extend on platforms. You have access to throw conversions like uh, up throw up air and of course deep breathing back air i cannot say it enough deep breathing back air <laughs> and master mario called out the, the trajectory there from varun but he was a little bit too late pulling the trigger there and got hit with the back air before he let go of the s smash that trade was 100 percent going to be in Varun's favor and the damage continues to pile up stomping him into the ground with the back hit of forward air into an F smash, that is huge damage. And this is looking increasingly difficult for Master Mario. Honestly, I blinked. Master Mario was at like a low 20% and now he's at 120%. What is this character's damage output? Why does a zoner allow to be able to put out these type of numbers? It's wild, it's wild. People sleep on Wii Fit because they don't see a whole lot of them, but Washington knows, uh, NorCal knows, we fit got some stuff. Oh my, are you kidding me? Dash attack? Way. Yeah. It's a great way to cover options because it beats what jump up? and uh, neutral get up. And uh, just the active hitboxes there between the dash attack and the ball flying off after it. Very difficult for a lot of characters to get around, especially if they aren't super accustomed to the matchup. And Varun just kind of letting himself be taken for a ride. He knows he's not really going to escape all those these low percent up airs is going to wreck up, but really it's the last hit that matters and he, Varun is able to escape the F, uh, the forward air from Master Mario. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. The jab to relieve the pressure there was nice because these two have gotten into like a trade F smash kind of showdown here a few times now. Master Mario broke form there and just took the solid, consistent damage of a jab, interrupted what Varun was trying to do. Okay, Varun finds himself off stage, but being below the stage is where Varun's gonna excel. Nice reaction there. That's difficult to do online sometimes, but Master Mario able to read Varun's role there and punish accordingly, steal up the stock. This isn't impossible. Mario can put on a lot of damage fast. That's true, we see a double. Double down air into a uh, up B, putting 40 onto Varun, but still that needs to go. He has a lot of work to do to make up these this deficit. I like that using the flood, getting rid of the ball in case Varun pops up above the ledge a little bit too high. He's gonna push Varun off a little bit, uh, much further away from the ledge and have him actually be susceptible to some, some type of ledge guard. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the ball will retain a hitbox. We just saw Master Mario get tricked up by that, but he's in a great spot now to try and finish with a forward air. Varun wisely holding his air dodge until the last second and sealing this up with another deep reading up there, advancing in a pretty clean 3-0 to winner's semis. Yeah, it looked very dominant in game one, game two. Game three, we started to see Varun bleed a little. We started mm -hmm. to see Master Mario get the adaptation. I think if Master Mario had one more game, maybe we would see... Um, you know, him starting to, to take the games over Varun. However, that was the best of five. 3-0 in Varun's favor. And Master Mario will go to the loser's bracket.